Welcome to Dumb Guys. Dumb Guy Barry here, and we had a request to walk through the fantasy baseball league setup in ESPN. And so here I am, as you can see, I'm on the ESPN Fantasy Baseball League, and I'm just going to walk you through the few steps to starting up a league here. So I'm going to go over here to where it says play ESPN Fantasy Baseball, sign up for free. I'm going to create a league. Here we go. I'm going to choose League Manager. Create League Manager. I'm going to pick a league name, and I'm just going to call it ESPN Fantasy Setup. And I'm going to do number of teams, I'm going to do 10. And then I'm going to do a head-to-head -head each category. That's where you pick um, as many categories as you want, and you go head-to-head -head each week against each manager. And um, if you win six out of 10 stats, you get the win for the week. And if you lose, uh, you know, six out of 10, you lose for the week. And that's how that's, that works. Okay, I'm going to create the league. And then I'm going to make just a few standard um, adjustments that uh, that we usually do, that we usually make here. So the first thing is I'm going to go to roster and I'm going to edit the roster settings here. Um, as you can see, standard in ESPN, they've got one catcher, one first base, one second base, a third baseman, a shortstop, but then they have these two right here, these flex spots, which is middle infielders and uh, corner infielders. And I'm going to turn those off. I'm going to go zero and zero. What I want to do is get closest as I can to a standard um, major league team. Um, so I'm going to remove there. And um, they've got five outfielders. I just want three outfielders and two utility spots or flex spots. Um, so that's how we do our offensive lineup. And then for pitching, we like to do starting pitching. We go four and relief pitching we do two and again we want to get as close as we can to a standard rotation um, normally it would be five starters and one closer but we go two closers and four starting pitchers um, and then our bench we have six players on our bench and we allow the flexibility of two on your disabled list and those are the only adjustments we make to the roster so let's move on from there, and we do make some adjustments in the scoring. So I'm going to move over to the scoring section, um, and it's real easy here what we do. Um, I'll just edit the scoring. Um, minimum for pitching stats, so 10 innings pitched. This is basically the total number of innings pitched for your uh, entire pitching staff. 10 innings is pretty reasonable. I think standard in Yahoo is 7 innings. Um, either way, uh, I think that's that's fine, that setting right there. Um, the one thing we do with batting is we remove average and we replace it with OPS. And we want OPS because it takes into account not just how many hits a player gets, but their walks and doubles and triples um, all count towards a higher OPS. Um, and so that's why we go that route. And that's the only changes we're going to make to the scoring. I'm going to submit those settings. Um, teams, divisions, that's standard here. Transactions and keepers. So I'm going to edit here. And the way that I'm going to change it, I'm going to go down here to the lineup changes. And you can stick to a daily um, lineup change, but that gets very busy. You're going to be making changes every day, perhaps several times a day. And if you've got the time, more power to you. But I don't have the time for that, um, and most people don't. So we go to a weekly lineup set, um, and it's basically on Monday morning before the first game, you set your lineup. Once the first game is played for the week, your lineup is locked in. Um, everything else here is pretty standard, so we're going to stick with the default settings. So we'll submit that. And then schedule. This is all pretty standard right here, except for we typically do a six team playoffs. So we do one week playoff and we do six teams. So six teams make the playoffs and it's a head to head. Um, and it goes on, starts at week 21, I believe. And so that's the only change you need to make there. Submit that. And then your draft. 
And uh, depending on how you want to do it, you can draft offline and enter in your team manually. Um, but we always do a snake draft and we do it live on the internet. We all get on at the same time and do our draft. So here, down here, you can choose your date, choose your time. If you don't know when you have uh, availability to do it, best bet, just choose the latest date and time and then come back and edit it when you're available, when you know what your what your league's availability is. And 90 seconds per pick is pretty standard. Uh, and then draft order, we always do a randomized uh, draft order one hour before draft time. So basically, in our Yahoo League, we log in an hour before the draft. That's as soon as we can get in. And then it's, the, it's at that time that we find out at what point in the draft we're picking. Um, so you don't have a lot of time to plan and strategize based on draft position, um, but I think it's the fairest way to go unless you are basing your draft order off of previous years. If you have a keeper league or if you have the same group of managers um, year, year in and year out and you decide to do your draft order based on how you what what position you finished the year before that might be a way to go but this is how we do it and that's it that's that's the entire setup there so uh you know it's pretty simple and uh, customizable depending on the way that you like to play your league and the stats you want you can get crazy with the stats you can mix it up with the roster you can do all kinds of things but this is pretty standard right here and this is how we like to play um there you go so stay tuned for more fantasy baseball uh, videos coming from the dumb guys. We've got our sleeper videos. We've got our bust videos. We did our uh, first round video. And I think our next video was going to be round uh, two, three, and four. We're going to kind of focus in that area and uh, talk about who our top picks are in, in those rounds. So stay tuned for that. And as always, subscribe to the dumb guy channel and you'll be able to keep up with all of our fantasy tips and tricks as well as all of the other um, videos that we put up. Does it hold up retro movie reviews, Brazilian food, Singapore food, Portuguese lessons, um, Brazilian and America, all the good stuff that the dumb guys have to offer. So, as always, stay dumb. Dumb guys.